so I didn't even know that this was released but you guys told me and you asked me to actually view it and respond for some reason I, I don't know why you guys like to torture me but I'm a desensitized masochist so I'll do it that was painful before I start the video, I would like to point out that on IMDb and Rotten Tomatoes, despite that this video has been recorded on the 12th of May, so the series has been up for two days already, there are no reviews or ratings for that matter. Like the, the rating is actually blocked, you can't see it. Like if you go to any series rating like this one, you can see a rating right here, but there is none for Cleopatra. So IMDb is protecting this apparently. But I would like to point out that the dislikes on the Cleopatra trailer nearly doubled since our first video, so fuck yeah. So enough stalling. Let's actually talk about this. Okay, this was hot garbage. And I don't mean in the historical sense, like it was hot garbage in an actual TV sense. I don't care what your grandma told you. This is fucking nonsense. The production was pretty bad. The costumes were okay, I guess. Although some of the Roman soldiers' uh, costumes were inaccurate. Uh, it's, it's something like the Viking horns, I guess. But this is just a minor historian gripe. Never mind about it. They reused some shots twice. Like, I mean it, like, imagine using the same shot twice in a miniseries. It's 40 minutes an episode. Can't you bother, like, retaking another shot? No, they just took a shot and they flipped it in the other direction. I'm unfortunately gonna get back to the uh, Roman armor thing. I'm sorry. Um, I have to complain about this. There is leather every fucking wear on the set. Like, everyone is wearing leather. While Romans in that time period, they used chainmail. I don't know if they had budget issues. I mean, obviously they had budget issues considering the writing of that uh, docu-series or whatever they call it. But couldn't you guys just have rented some chain mail? The series says that there is a study that concluded that Cleopatra's mother was Egyptian. So not only are you uh, making up a study, I mean... There is technically speaking a study, but it was debunked and refuted by serious historians. Like, if you take history seriously, you know that this is bullshit. But ignoring that, uh, this just assumes that Egyptians are black. Again, back to that. No, we're not black. We're Egyptian. We're different. We're North Africans. Not all Africans look the same. That's racist. Another issue with this as a documentary, it uses way too many people. Like, and I don't mean uh, in the series itself. I mean the people telling the story. Like, there are five people telling the story. I don't know why there are five. Usually in any documentary, there's like one or two people. That's it. This one uses five. You can get rid of four of them or, or maybe three of them, and it will be much better, actually. As for the actual acting... It wasn't much to look at either. I mean, it's like, I don't know if this is the script, but some lines were delivered in a very cringy way, overacting, I guess. Adele James wasn't too bad, I suppose. I mean, she had some shit moments, but I will guess I'll give her the award for the best performance in the series. So overall, obviously, I wouldn't recommend watching this. The show sucks. And I hate everyone who suggested that I watch it and react to it. But here it is. Have fun, you guys. You can watch my other stuff uh, regarding Queen Cleopatra if you'd like. Or you can watch my two videos that have 10 black African leaders from Central Africa. And actually, black people, not North Africans. Because the Afrocentrists don't want this. They just want to steal our stuff. Well, that's it. That's the video.